standard 5th subject evs1 today we shall learn chapter 11 a home and environment dear students on the way to your school or market or when you travel to another town you see many things observe carefully the houses that you see note the construction shape building material and other aspects of the different houses do some of the houses resemble the specimens shown here think about your own environment and the climate there and choose the most suitable house for yourself by putting a tick in the box near the picture so you can complete this activity on page 51 of your textbook We saw different types of houses in the pictures. Their main uses can be listed as follows: a shelter, a resting place, protection against the sun, the wind, the cold and the rains, protection from wild animals, keeping ourselves safe from antisocial elements. The above figure shows a map of India and the types of houses that are common in the respective regions since ancient times. Note how the construction or structure of the houses changes from region to region. So which different regions can you see in the map? Regions of heavy rainfall regions of medium rainfall regions of low rainfall desert regions marshy regions mountainous regions and finally plains so this map is in your textbook on page 52 you can go through the map to get a better understanding of how the different types of houses are built as per the type of region people build houses to suit the climate of the region using the natural resources that are available differences in the construction and building materials give rise to different types of houses so you are already aware of different types of houses around you also when you travel to different places you must have seen the difference in the type of houses water food clothing and shelter are the basic needs of every human being however these needs are not fulfilled in the case of each and every person then what happens the following situations arise around us we see many people who lack shelter they seek shelter at the roadside on footpaths under bridges in tumble down buildings in railway or bus stations and even on open grounds many people are forced to be homeless because they have insufficient or no means of livelihood a section of a society being homeless is a social problem that is why the government implements many schemes to provide homes to the homeless in some of the cities the government makes night shelters available to the homeless so you can see in the picture how a night shelter is provided to the homeless people so why do people become homeless look at the chart some reasons are listed here like lack of affordable housing poverty natural disasters like earthquakes floods inadequate income unemployment physical and mental disorders are some of the reasons why people become 
homeless. We all have a right to clean potable water, sufficient food, a safe shelter and education. Do you know? As the time passed, humans went on making suitable changes in their shelter. So the picture shows us right from the apes where the early human beings lived on trees in a forest. They made some progress and started living in caves. Later stones were used for construction. Then thatched roofs came. Bricks were used later. Then buildings. So we can see how man made progress not only in his physical appearance but also in his eating habits his shelter as well. Dear students, visit a place where construction work is going on. List the materials that you see there. Obtain information about the pollution in that area. So, a list of material is given in your textbook on page 54. What you can do is, you can Find the original source from where that material is obtained and fill in the boxes given on page 54 of your textbook. And then you can compare your own list with your friends list. Find the original sources from which construction material is obtained and you can note down in the chart. Always remember, though there are so many different types of houses, Everyone is attached to their own house. It is not only the walls and doors and windows and the roof that make up a house. It is the people who live in that house and their love and affection for one another that turns a house into a home. So we always say home sweet home. Home is important to each one of us. No matter where we go, we always long to get back to our own home. Next, the population of our country as well as the world is increasing, right? That is another social problem. The population of the world is increasing all the time. That is why houses are being built in large numbers. Natural resources have to be used in very great quantities to build these houses. They are obtained using the methods listed. Now onwards you will see some methods which are listed here. These methods are harmful to the environment and lead to the pollution of air. You can see in the first picture air pollution, water and soil and also cause noise pollution. So which are these methods which lead to all these problems, various pollutions? Let's have a look. The few examples which are harmful to the environment are digging up hills for quarrying. You can see the picture. A quarrying picture is shown. Extracting sand from seashores and riverbeds. Okay, a launch is shown extracting sand. Extracting stone and earth from the ground. Drawing out excessive amounts of groundwater. Felling trees to clear land. Filling up ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, creeks and low-lying areas to reclaim land. So these methods are very harmful as the environmental conditions will be hampered due to continuous extraction of material from the earth's sources. Because of growing urbanization, land which was previously being used for agriculture and similar other purpose is now used to build roads and 
to raise settlements when these leads to shortage of agricultural land forest land is used for agriculture so this is also a social problem agricultural land is being used to construct roads and raise settlements so we will fall short of agricultural land right so how this land is replaced now trees are felled in great numbers and forests are reduced so that means it affects the forest energy is reduced energy is needed to produce construction material it is used on a very large scale to prepare bricks from soil cement from limestone glass from sand and so on where does the energy come from it is produced using natural fuels like coal natural gas or mineral oil these natural fuels can be used only once they get consumed when we use them moreover burning these fuels leads to air pollution it takes lakhs of years for these sources of energy to form in nature that is why it is necessary to bring into use other sources of energy such as solar energy or wind energy which are available in plenty and which do not cause pollution these are non exhaustible sources of energy all living things need shelter like humans some other living things also build shelters using various materials in the environment but last year we saw that the shelters are eco friendly and temporary we should also be able to make permanent houses that are eco friendly some characteristics of eco friendly houses minimum consumption of natural resources uses of use of non exhaustible sources of energy such as biogas wind energy and solar energy recycling of water recycling of garbage avoiding artificial materials and artificial colors provision for natural light and ventilation in the house so you can see in the picture an eco friendly house and on the left side the characteristics are mentioned of eco friendly houses so this is listed in textbook on page 56 you can go through it do you know about underwater shelters water tourism has now become an important occupation in some places there are underwater shelters for tourists from these shelters we get a direct view of the seabed and the amazing marine life you can see in the picture how the seabed appears through the glass such shelters are observed in the coastal regions of europe and north america so this is a tourist destination do you know the city of mumbai comprises seven islands so in the first picture below you can see the group of seven islands the portions of water bodies between them were filled with stone and earth to create land so you can see how mumbai city is seen now in second picture after it was filled up with stone and earth to create land wherever there were water bodies present in between later settlements roads and industries were developed on this land so you can see the brihan mumbai metropolis because this reclaimed land is in a low lying area it easily gets water locked when there is a heavy downpour so we often see or face the consequences of heavy rains in mumbai especially why because it's a low lying area that's why water logging becomes a big problem whenever there is a heavy downpour or heavy rainfall so dear students what we have learned in this chapter we observe 
a variety in the types of house construction in the regions of different climate okay so the there is variety in the types of house construction in regions of different climate houses are built to suit the climate of that particular region different materials all obtained from nature are used to build houses so we should use the resources carefully we should be judicious in using energy judicious means we should take a wise decision we should be careful it is necessary to increase the use of non exhaustible sources of energy it is necessary to build eco friendly houses we have studied the characteristics right we must take care that the environment is not harmed in any way so all these points are covered in this chapter hope you have understood this chapter well do read the textbook for a better understanding stay safe keep learning and thank you